Hi guys, a bit of a disclaimer before going into the battle and team planner. Clearly the team planner is now implemented into the battle video itself and it has to do with both me and Vepsis having the battle yesterday night. So I couldn't upload it or you know, prepare uh, as much as I wanted to and also was really sick and while it's still not good, yesterday I was awful. <laughs> I had a really high fever and I barely was able to look at the screen so once the battle was over I really just wanted to get to bed and to just try to manage um, so um, yeah that's the reason the team plan wasn't uploaded um, but you know <laughs> it's, it's good I, I had a really cool idea and you know I recorded it Saturday I was really feeling I, I felt a lot when I was recording it as if this is one of the toughest opponents I know uh, and also in the end of the video I will cut um, because I'm actually repeating myself uh, you know trying to explain the game or rather um, implement you know a, a more fresh thoughts uh, after the game was over to have a more better review of the battle itself so with that said enjoy <laughs> What is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to another Wi Fi battles with your truly the Scarinderer. And yeah, what else can I say? Vepsis, our rival, our nemesis, our monster in disguise from the eastern northern part that is in Scandinavia. It's the false prophet, boys, and we love every second of it. Honestly, though, Vepsis really good friend of mine and really enjoy battling him as he's just one very tough opponent as a whole one of the best battlers i know and uh, i'm excited about this game mainly because the matchup is awful and uh, i just i have a few ideas how to throw him off but quite frankly looking at the team you know we have gengar corvanite sizewato noivern all creamy galarian weezing um obstagoon conkeldur avalton and centipede that is not said to be the Scorch, scorch or is a centipede possibly and you see my team on the page here um i haven't done a you know a, a team analysis of my team alone and i actually will decide to avoid that for obvious reasons of the season not being necessarily that long and at this point it feels kind of weird doing it though i had a vision of doing it but basically i made a few changes and i like the team but it's not necessarily you know all there when it comes to style, but you know, we have our superior, and that's about it. Like, their management is awesome. Anyway, the team really scary. Uh, I decided to make, as, as my previous video, circles around opponents or the Pokemon I feel are threatening for my team. And blue circle stands for Pokemon I expect to be there, and you know, the orange flaming circle stands for Pokemon that wins the game no matter what I do, or at least are key threats. So we're going to cover the blue circles first, as um, the reason they're there is because they're actually good defensive Pokemon. Uh, Corviknight, I don't have the means to deal with it properly, as well it has two weaknesses. Uh, none of my opponent, or like, I have not a dedicated steel type or electric type that deals with Corviknight, as Galventula do struggle here no matter what, and that that's going to be an issue. So, um, while I had a play with Galventula, it's not implemented in this game in case I face Vipsis in the future. Um, and whether or not I decide to bring it then. But Corviknight, very tough. Seismitoad, naturally really good. Will probably be his hit the Pokemon he brings every time. Water Ground, this generation is really good. Seismitoad is probably the best of them. So, yeah, tough. Really tough. Um, Scented Scorch, good defensive overall Pokemon versus me, and has a move pool to boot with that, as Power Whip together with Knockoff and uh, Fire Lash is close to perfect coverage versus me and it's actually quite frustrating as it does implement that a few Pokemon can't make it necessarily or if I do it will be for a different reason it, it's tough it's very tough I don't feel confident with Santa Scorch as it's a very good Pokemon overall uh, all creamy and Weezing one of them is gonna make it who I couldn't tell you but both of them are good defensive options uh, against my team actually but we I lean towards Weezing because of right period but all the creamy makes a ton of sense due to its defensive ability. And as you may have noticed, I haven't crossed off either Abelton, Voin, or Obstagoon, and it has to do with that. They can might as well make it, but I don't see them make it, but I won't cross them as they're not unviable versus me at all, but I have reasons to believe they don't make it. Uh, and of course, the orange circle, the flaming circle, Conkeldur and Gengar. <sighs> the reason they are key threats is because I can't do anything about them. Um, basically, looking at Gengar, for example, 
Um, once it sets up a nasty plot, it's very unlikely for me to be able to beat it with any of my Pokémon as a whole, unless he decided, of course, since it's nasty plot, he won't be Scarfed, but I haven't decided to bring the Scarfers myself, so it's a Pokémon that wins the game, and it wins the game, like I said, basically no matter what I do, and that's something that is very, very frustrating, as um, I actually do tend to draft Pokémon that deal well with Ghost types, but that option is out of the picture because of the way I got implemented in this game. So Gengar, very good, super tough for me to deal with, and the other one being Conkeldur. And that is my own flaw, really, as my options to deal with Conkeldur, while fair, I decided not to take them. <laughs> or at least not. Like, Jellicent could with Wakam Berry and Strength Sap, um, one versus one Conkeldur easily, but I'm not that strat in mind. But it's something I was keeping in mind, if anything. Uh, Quillfish is an option there, but overall, if it is a Guts variant of uh, Conkeldur, um, a Guts boosted Mac Punch, one it KOs Darmanitan, and close combat, one it KOs Rhyperior, two of the best Pokemon I have offensively, which means that they are sitting ducks versus Conkeldur. So, if it is Guts Conkeldur, I find it very unlikely for me of winning. And it just as a whole is a very good def offensive Pokemon. And while I, I will try to do my best to kind of keep this team in bay, I'll honestly say that I don't intend or I intend of winning, but I've seen a lot of reasons why I can't win. It's something to quote one of my good friends, um, Ashton Akai or Eric. <sighs> Bad matchup versus a very good player is very hard to prep for in, in a, you know, an honest way, so I decided to deviate from our usual strat and try something different and see if I can throw off Vepsip somewhat. And here is the team I am representing. And here are the six I add to this matchup. Galerian Darmanitan uh, with room service item. It is actually jolly max speed able to, of course, deal with Obstagoon when it comes to speed time, but uh, room service is there to get myself in minus speed. And um, once Trick Room is active, which will mean I will be slower than the likes of Corviknight and Seismitoad uh, and Scent Scorch when Trick Room is activated. It's a niche idea, but I, you know, the, the idea is to kind of throw my opponent off, and you know, that's the point of clearing their mana, and we'll see how that works. Uh, Quillfish, fully defensive, with Destiny Bond, Scald, Taunt, and Spikes. The idea here is to. Um, is that a passage for sure? But also stop Seismitoad from getting a passage. And uh, my best threat is you no know, Destiny Bond was I'm you know below the health I want to. Uh, mainly to actually uh, you know uh, get something off guard and uh, drag it with me. Quillfish is kind of tough in this game, but it was a neat idea, so I went with that. Uh, then we have Brown Song. It is a Colber very variant with Psychic, Flash Cannon, Grass Knot, and uh, Trick Room. Pretty self-explanatory, uh, or no, body press over um, Psychic to one to kill Obstagoon, but uh, yeah, I mean it was either that or you know, hitting Conkeldur for fair damage, but uh, close combat just eats us anyway, so it's kind of tough to bring it. Uh, Whimsicott with Tailwind and, um, oh what do you call it, the move that uh, Endeavor, um, Brass Knot and Moonlast with Focus Sash. Whimsicott's role is kind of kind of niche, I would say, but the initial idea is um, that never is to uh, fuck with his team. Um, Tailwind is there for Darmanitan, as it's something that it can use well. Also, Rhyperior gets a fast speed boost if that's active, but, you know, it's not going to be the ideal response. And uh, Gengar kind of walls this set quite well, but it, it's just a fun idea. Endeavor is basically for Corviknight and Set of Scorch, which are proper responses to this Pokemon, as uh, I can potentially whittle them down much more than he wants them to do. Uh, Jellicent. Now, here's the thing. Like, with Jellicent, I'm, I'm feeling still to this video rather split. Uh, I either have the Stallbreaker variant, which beats Seismitoad uh, and Set of Scorch because it's faster, uh, and Strength Sap makes sure that it survives them. Uh, so overall, like, Jellicent is tremendously tough for my opponent to deal with naturally, uh, but I decided not to take that route. <laughs> so I am Scald, Dazzling Gleam, together with Strength Sab and Trick Room, and I'm also Quiet, which means I will be potentially slower than Conkeldur, depending on its set. So, um, so that's scary. Um, like I said, I'm feeling split there, as the Stallbreaker set is something I think 
overall is better as it does beats Corviknight, it beats Seismitoad, it beats Alt Creamy, it beats Alcalarian Weezing, it beats and it beats Conkeldur, but it loses to Obstagoon and it loses to Gengar. Um, so with that in mind, I kinda felt I wanna keep supporting the Trick Room idea and make sure Rhyperior do a lot of work instead. Hence Rhyperior, a soul visitor of Rhyperior this time around, together with Earthquake, Stone Edge, um, Ice Punch and uh, Metal Burst. Metal Burst is there to nail Gengar if I get the chance, we'll see if that, if that happens. Uh, but overall, this is a team, and it goes without saying, I'm, while I do have the intentions to win, I also go up against an opponent that has a good matchup versus me, and are extremely competent when it comes to battling, so I really just don't want to lose with too much differential, and that's basically it. So, um, <laughs> I go with an idea of winning, but I'm happy if I lose with 3 or 2 0. -oh. 1 0 -oh would be ideal, but that's that's basically my strat. We'll see how that works. Uh, so, that's it. Thank you for watching. And of course, um, follow up on a video that will be, of course, uploaded the day after this, which will be the battle itself. And once that is done, you will know how good I really am. So, with that said, as always, thank you for watching and have a great day and take care. Bye. Alright, what is up you guys, and welcome to the UBL, and of course Wi-Fi Battle vs Vipsis, I'm just doing this to go, didn't realize we were starting off. Um, I'm just gonna say that this, I'm actually really sick, so bear with me. Um, going against Vipsis is great though, Vipsis is like one of the best players I know, so it's just an absolute honor to battle him, even though it usually ruins us. Uh, and I'm ready for that. <laughs> I really am. I brought something spicy just to really throw him off a little bit. But, you know, like I said, it's just a general pleasure to really battle him. <laughs> Let's see. Just gonna write down the Pokemon we're fending off against. It looks the part um, of what I was expecting. Um, <coughs> which is a great team. Um, Seismator and Conkeldor are really tough. Um, and send the scorch is very tough on us. Um, the way I see it, I want to lead off with. Um, I want to lead off with this guy, and we'll take it from there. Um, because overall, this team is really straining on us, and it should be. Um, send the scorch is a Pokemon I fear. Um, I do like that the team looks ex pretty much exactly like it was feeling it could be. I was feeling that maybe uh, all cream could make it, but it didn't. Um, so that's both good and bad. <laughs> it's it's good because I was fearing it, but it's bad at the same time because, well, let's face it, um, there are some issues with uh, which we're, what we're fitting off against anyway. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go for Taunt for spikes. I'm gonna taunt him. I don't want stealth rocks up. Um, he could go directly for an attack, and if so, you know, more power to him. Goes for earth power directly. Absolute champ. And that chaos. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that sucked. Um, you know, for Moonblast, just get some damage going. Um, that was bad. I think Conkle just wins. Should have just gone for spikes or destiny bond even. Um, so I guess in Corviknight comes in, um, yet fire. Sounds about right. Oh, I have two options with uh, against this, um, but Moonblast should do in the right chunk, I think. Yeah, right, it is. Leftovers, cool. No, 
now I just feel bad, like really bad. Um, I'm gonna send in the Alicent. Um, this was not what I was. Uh, this was not what I was feeling. The first storm was gonna be. I was definitely feeling stealth rocks. But it's alright. <laughs> <coughs> it's tough, but it's alright. Um, U-turn. All right, cool. Um, So, what would be a switch in? Either Conkled or if it, and if it's Flame Orb, it's gonna be rough to switch into, and even more so now, clearly. Uh, let's see. Synthi Scorch. I don't switch into this guy at all anymore. Like, I was struggling with this matchup. I really was, but this didn't help. Um, right, I think it's gonna go for a knockoff. Power whip. All right, cool. Just follow that up with a fire lash. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Like quillfish was such a oh, keeps going for power whips. All right. <sighs> Wait, is he scarfed? We switched into that kind of right, I guess, but is, is he scarfed? Let's find out. I think he is. He's not banded, I can tell you that much. Let's go over Flash Cannon. No, oh, he wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this is this is rough. This is rough. I'm not doing a very good game now, am I? Oh, that's just gonna freeze, so it's knockoff. I'm just sacking Jellicent here, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> or, or, you know, I'm getting my 6-0, finally. Um, I just want that cursed body, please. It would be nice. Don't care about the defense drop. Cursed body, please. There we go. Cool. <laughs> As planned. Alright, it still looks really bad. Hey, avoided it. Cool. Should go for a tailwind here, right? I just move last. I think he stays in. Hope the sable kind of last a little bit. All right, going for a tailwind.
Alright, it switches out to yet fire. Cool. I'm feeling the pressure. Right. Go for an Enver. Really hope he goes for a Braver trying to knock us out. Or if he U turns, that would be great. Because that won't kill me. Alright, bring him down, boy. U turn's great, so we can preserve Whimsicott. So I just like one more of those endeavors in us. Gonna absolutely bait in uh, um, right period. Like, I'm not doing a very good job. I didn't expect myself to do either, but the matchup was really tough here anyway. But that start, plus telling myself that Send this Court was, you know, what it was, yeah. And didn't do myself any favors. I really didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna go for an Ever again. Um, I was gonna say to myself, like, why? Why would he do that? But yeah, it makes sense. Uh, no, he got me in that essence. Um. How many tilting turns do I got left? Um. Can I see that? One more turn of Tailwind. This looks bad. I'm gonna bring in this to try. I think it can U turn here. Or oh, Roost. That's kind of greedy. I like that. Stonish is fairly safe. Knowing him, he'll U turn here. So I'll just go directly for Nerdquake, expecting him to bring Seismic out. And now we know Skull is free. And Ginju, yeah, there's a Seismic out. Though it's not left of us, we can absolutely take a scald. So, just go for another earthquake trying to knock him out. Grass not cool, should take this. Not well, but we took it. I'll take it, and uh, we're not 6 out, which is probably, you know, key here. <laughs> right, Bill Mood comes, and it's Conk Elder. And, and that's the thing, though. Everything I switch in dies to Mag Punch, basically. And there is nothing I can do about it. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's absolutely okay. Actually, I think this was a misplay. 
there's a flame orb. Because I can still get strength sap. Plus I could be faster. Should be faster. Let's find out if I'm slower. I was. GG. It's alright. It's alright. Should have done that. It's okay. Oh, this sucks though. It sucks bad. I'll just wrap the game from here. I don't see the point of continuing. Unless he feels I can survive the Mac Punch, which I can't. I will stone die. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this was not a very well planned game and I kinda had a feeling for it. And like I'm not mad, I'm just I'm trying to how do you say? Getting myself in a position to how could I play this thing differently, but you know, in between sickness and that lead, yeah, you know, it just I couldn't. This was it was not my game. Conqueror was really tough, and uh, I was debating how to deal with this game completely. So Pep is getting this win, absolute fair. I'm just glad I wasn't 6-0. That's like my biggest take from this was at least I wasn't swept completely. You know, I'm still swept. This is awful. <laughs> but but it's that kind of alright awful where I just. <laughs> Like, I don't know how to deal with it. I, I wish I had a team that could deal with his, um, with this matchup. I do like the idea that I knew... Like, if it was a Guts Con Gelder, I knew it was gonna lose, no matter what. And none of my strat was, um, complimented here. Because of that first turn Quillfish. And I have no idea what I was thinking, but it clearly didn't work. Could have avoided it? Possibly, but not really. Um, I'm like, looking back right now, you know, as long as Conqueror was active, there was no way either my Tailwind Strat nor my Tail or Trick Room Strat was going to work anyway. So, I, I figured, you know, I'll try to have as much fun as possible. And um, to be honest, um, I didn't expect it to work, but I was really hoping I was gonna have a more of a challenge to Vipsis. Um, but I didn't. I saw the result, but I'm just trying to find how to explain this game. Um, I've been like talking with a few friends for a long time how to, how to elaborate and how to you know get this game right, but how no matter how. I turned and, and twisted things. It came back to, to the same issue, and that was that Nasty Blood Ganger wins no matter what. Guts Conkeldor wins no matter what, and um, Corviknight is um, just overall winning any matchup. And no matter how much momentum my Darmanitan has, um, as long as Center Squad is active, I can't win. And all these, like those four fact, those four mons was such a big factor that no matter how I optimized, I just did did the team worse and worse from my playstyle and I was kind of hoping that, you know, I lose, but I lose could put a possible 3 or anything like that. 5 was kind of tough, but I also felt that that was, you know, eventually it was all about position and the, the position was not in my favor, but rather when Vips just got a position where he could wrap up. Um, looking back at it, I think I have two free plays that Regret first turn Quillfish absolutely, but uh, I, I think I was in the right of making that call um, since Stealth Rush ruined my sash, and uh, you know I, I was kind of surprised to see Seismic of Fur since you know Whimsicott is Whimsicott, and I'm clearly thinking he had Rinnerberry for sure, um, and the other one might have been thinking Santa Scott was 
scoffed. I knew I could take a power whip and I should just have strength sapped directly. And I would have won that matchup, but instead I switch it around and Yellison become inactive. Rasa becomes inactive, Whimsicott becomes unviable, and you know, it's just a series of not getting a position I want to, and it just looks bad. So, Vepsis, GG, I'm sorry I didn't perform a better game, I expected myself to do about a lot more. But, I'm also really glad it's over, because I'm such a high fever, so I just can go back to sleep, basically. Um, <laughs> like I said, this was a very tough game for me to prep for, and uh, the amount of hours put into the prepping here really really is annoying because i know i should have just made that call from the get-go that this is an unwinnable matchup anyway so why bother um but i really want to make something unique so it, it kind of hurts that i didn't get to showcase that even with the idea that i probably will lose anyway i wanted to showcase fun ideas but instead it's just a mess of a place and it looks it doesn't look pretty um it definitely doesn't um, but yeah, with that, you guys, as always, thanks for watching. Didn't want to get off, you know, it as such a downer, but this was absolutely a tough game for me to prep for, and I was really hoping it didn't turn this bad. I was knew it was gonna be bad, but this is this is way beyond what I was prepping for. Um, I wanted to do better. I wanted to, you know, to showcase something fun, not not a breakfast for websis, basically. But yeah, sorry about that. You know, we'll bounce back shortly. And make sure to check out Vips' side, for, for fuck's sake. Like, this guy is awesome. Really enjoy his content. And uh, he's just one of the best players I know. So if you want to get a good feeling for the game and a good draft that isn't taken over, no. <laughs> I just feel my draft isn't ideally my style. But, yeah, if you want to see somebody that's doing a lot of things right, Vepsis is your guy. So check this guy out. He's one of the best guys I know and just a wonderful guy, honestly. So that's it guys, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day, take care, bye.